Lift back up, lift back up, lift back up, and cut the engines. Oh! <coughs> oh! You know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Close that hatch. Close this hatch. All right. Maiden voyage. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pick it up. Oh! Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Storm Trail, and today I've got a little bit of a mini build. Today, I'm going to be utilizing the bench as my main source of power for this build. Yes, you heard you heard me right. We are going to be using the workbench to try and fly. Now, you can already use the workbench just by standing on it, and it will launch you really far. But what I'm trying to do here today is make it actually controllable. And by that, I want to lock in the bench so that I can sit in a certain area and hold the bench up to move a creation to a certain way and maybe even hit hypersonic speeds. I Maybe. We'll have to see. But for now, to get us started off, I went ahead and measured out the bench in terms of blocks. So this is our frame here. And all we got to do to really encase this is build it up one more high on every single side and then put a roof over it. But the main question here is, how am I going to load the bench into the vehicle? Because it's going to have to be sealed off. But I can't necessarily seal off the bench if it's already out of the vehicle. That That's confusing. To explain what I'm trying to do is we need to put the bench into the creation, correct? So what, I, what I'm thinking of doing first is maybe just trying to build like a little doorway here with rotational pivots that can lock down and maybe that will work but for now let's go ahead and make this one wider and let's build the walls up on it just like this okay that's looking good and okay so the bench should fit directly in here okay look at that perfect if it's directly inside of it that okay that's exactly what I wanted now I just need to put a little bit of a roof on top of it then I might be able to already design the cabin probably that's probably a little bit too early but let's try this all right roof is on there I don't see the bench and it's in there snugly oh look at that it works perfectly I can pick it up Oh, this is good. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be legit. All right. So, uh, now I need to find a way. Let's see. Is that all the way in there? Okay. That's all the way in there. Now I need to find a way to lock this down and keep it locked down while we're in the air, which shouldn't be too hard. All I would probably have to do here. Let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pivots here just some basic robotic pivots okay okay this is this is might work and then okay oh now I'm thinking the vehicle m most likely will ha have to be balanced mm, I don't know how that's gonna work okay let's just build this on here and then let's merge the two together uh that actually might not work Oh, oh no, it should actually. Okay, so now I need to simply put a hole here, a toggle button here, two, two. Let's grab a toggle button, put it in the Zaya. All right, simple enough. Uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, I'm gonna get a door switch. I, I already have a little bit of a composite door switch. I have it called the uh, compact switch. So basically, I'm just going to, uh, where am I going to put this? Okay, I'm going to throw it on the front here. This is bare bones. Hopefully getting it to work. All right. Now I just got to connect this up here. Oh, I got to get a battery too. Uh, and we're adding, we're adding all this weight on here, but it should be fine, hopefully. Okay, let's uh, put the battery on here like this. All right. 
And boom, there we go. Electricity. Okay. It looks like it's still in there. Will it work? Yeah, look at that. Alright, so now I should be able to take the bench. Take it out if I want to. And then I should be able to just... Oh, come on. A little bit higher. A little bit. Oh, this is... This might be harder than I thought. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so that works. All right, all right, all right, okay. So now, I need to build uh, the cockpit, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have the hole to grab the bench right here. And in that case, I'm going to go ahead and build a simple, just just the, the bare minimum of what I would need to have my character be able to stand inside of this little death contraption all right so i'm going to build up the walls one higher and our character is actually seven blocks tall but i'm probably going to make this a crouching uh design here so let's go ahead and break off three here and let's get a large window we need to be able to see somewhat of what we are doing oh they actually renamed it. Instead of having a large window, it's actually just window 3x3. Three three. Huh, that's pretty cool. For some reason, I don't know why, I, I, I guess it's just been that long since I've built with just these regular windows. I didn't realize that you couldn't put a window here for some reason. Oh, well, that's fine. This should be good enough. Maybe? All right, and then in the back here, let's go ahead and try and get a hatch. Hopefully, I can fit one in. All right, I got a hinged hatch. Should work perfectly, just like that. And then let's go ahead and fill it in, the rest of the sides here. And now we're going to slap a roof on it. Just like that. That, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is what we call the Game Breaker. Why is it called the Game Breaker? Because it looks stupid. That's, <laughs> that's, what? Oh, look at it. It's hovering. That's not... Uh, that's... Okay. Calm down. Okay, we fixed it. Uh, may, Maybe I can... Oh, may, oh no. Uh, okay, simple fix. Simple fix. Simple fix, maybe. Uh, okay, I just need to simply delete this. And that should work. Okay, I deleted it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh no, how am I gonna put this in here? Oh, come on. Come on. Maybe, yes! <laughs> I got it! All right, all right. Close it off. Let's push this thing uh, out into the... Uh... I I'm literally gonna have to use the bench to push it along. Look at this, it's already working. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be something else. Here we go. Oh no. All right, close the hatch. Hop up top. Okay. You know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Close that hatch. Close this hatch. All right. Maiden voyage. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pick it up. I can't tell if we're still going up. I cannot see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Oh, it worked! It worked! Oh no. Oh no, I'm falling. Oh, oh geez. Ah! Oh. I'm still alive. Back up again! Here we go! Uh I can't see. Are we actually going up? I can't tell. Hold on, let me go in third person. Oh look at this! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, and I can control it too perfectly. Look at that. If I aim up, it actually goes up and moves to this. Oh, okay, that is. Oh, this is amazing. All right, I'm going to stop grabbing it. Look at this. Oh, wow. Dude, this is amazing. Oh, I'm going to die. I think I'm just gonna take my flashlight and binoculars back, thank you. Uh, alright. 
Let's go up. I need to find a way to make this actually visual in all ways. I need to add in a lot more windows. Because if you see here, the way we actually pilot it, if you can look out the bottom half of the window, you can see that we're actually going. All right, let's bring her down. Bring it down. All right. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this, this is legit. Uh, I'm really proud of this. All right. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and return this to the workbench. Now, I want to add in a few more things to make this actually look somewhat decent. Let's go ahead and add another large window. So, I'm, gonna have to, I'm, I'm so used to typing in window and it gives me the window I'm looking for. All right. And let's go, let's go all the way here. That way we can get as much of a viewing experience as we possibly can. And I've also got an idea. So if you take a monitor and we need a, let's see here. Okay, we've got five slots. So five by three should be perfect. Wait, we got, okay, it is perfect. All right, five by three. We're going to go ahead and place it in there like that. Okay, so now whenever I grab the bench to take it where I want it to, I should be able to use that and a camera at the very bottom as well to get a perfect view this oh i'm so excited this is awesome uh this this is why i love stormworks so much it, you can do all these crazy cool things even though it wasn't intended and i i really appreciate that this is something that's in the game devs if you're seeing this from, from me and the viewers, I, I really recommend that you leave this in here. It It is super fun, and honestly, I really enjoy these types of just messing around. It, it really is what makes Stormworks Stormworks. All right, I went ahead and did some modifications to it. I went ahead and added in a player sensor. That way, the monitor automatically turns on. Also, because I forgot to, uh, you know, give the monitor power and connect up to the uh, actual video. All right, so let's try and slide this in here. Come on. The hardest part is actually getting it in there. There, okay, there we go. Just like that, and now we need to walk it. Oh, jeez, that is... Oh, that monitor is making it heavy. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna... If the monitor is gonna work as well. Hopefully, it is. Okay, there we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. I gotta run and set it down. Okay. Let's try and get into this thing. Okay, so, and then once we do that, we're going to hop up. And then we're going to crouch down. Okay. Would you look at that? The, the camera's looking through the ground. That's amazing. All right. We've got it all lined up. Let's pick it up. There we go. Oh, look at that. It works. Sort of. I've got to eat in the screen, but look at that. Oh, dude. This is amazing. All right, look straight up. And then I can sort of look... Oh, look at that. Oh, dude. We can straight up control. Guys, look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, wow. I I can literally fly anywhere I want to. This is Stormworks. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. This worked out so much better than I thought it would. Look at this! We're literally just taking a fly over so Sawyer Island. Dude. D oh, oh, I'm going down fast. Alright, give it a little bit of an angle up. And we're going back up. There it is! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. I think I'm actually going to put this on the workshop. If you guys want to go ahead and check this thing out, I'm probably going to paint it before I go ahead and put it on the workshop. But this thing is crazy. I'm really, I'm, I'm, for something this simple, I'm pretty proud of it. So guys, if you want to go ahead and check this thing out on the workshop, it will be on the workshop. So, yeah. And then, if you want to, go ahead and join my Discord down below and, and share the videos of you actually playing around with this thing and what you've been able to do with it. I, I want to see it because this, this is Stormworks. This, I love this game so much. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's it's just beautiful. I... Wow. I...
I'm I am just wow. All right, let's go ahead and land it. We're gonna have we're gonna try and land it right here in the North Harbor. All right, lift it up a little bit. Lift it up. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. All right, and angle it down, angle it down, angle it down. Lift up just a second and turn to the side to reduce speed. Lift up, let go. Oh! Oh! Oh, we landed it. All right, let's uh open this up and maybe maybe I can get out. Maybe, maybe 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 not. All right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use the power of the bench. Uh, what? Okay, there we go. Look at that, guys. This is the bench flying machine. I recommend you guys go ahead and check this thing out in the workshop, and then share with me your videos. I want to see what you do with this thing. It it's so stupid, but I love it. And all right, there's one more thing I gotta try. Does it float? That is the question. Before we leave, we must see if it floats. All right, here we go. Oh, this is such a good view. And cut the engines, the 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 glitchy engines. If if you if you, uh, yeah. All right, there it goes. Okay, I'm going down. Will it float? Oh, is it going back up? Is it going back up? Uh, I don't think it is. Bench, save me. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness, dude. This is amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and turn it right back around to the land. No, I'm so close to the water. Lift it up. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, okay. Lift back up. Lift back up. Lift back up. And cut the engines. Oh. <coughs> oh. We've had impact. We have had impact. Oh, boy. We just slammed into that pole. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed today's, oh, we hit the, oh, we hit the container, oh, no. Oh, boy, all right. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to help me as a small channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you. Today's Bible verse is 1 Timothy 6, verse 17. Teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all that we need for our enjoyment. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you all. Have a good night.